Good aim. Oh, nice volley. We had to have taken down that group right there. Hello, Warfighters. War is hell. Welcome to the next episode of War of Rights. We're going to be playing for the Confederacy again here. Now, we're kind of waiting at this point for the Union forces to get to the point here where they're going to attack us. One of the biggest things that we see from the Union forces when they play on this particular map is they try and hold at that stone wall. It's pretty effective. What they do is uh, crouch and reload from a lowered position. Then they stand up and fire and then you know, crouch again and reload. So uh, with them just popping up here and having that level of cover, it really gives them a tremendous advantage. So a lot of times they try and wear us out. But you can see we're scattered across this field with some cover of our own using uh, the wagons that we've got here for cover. Well, there's some movement over there to the left side, and that very well uh, could be the Union. So I'm going to move over there just to help support them in the event that that is Union. It's hard to tell. Like, I'm hesitant to open fire on him because I don't want to hit our own guys. But I haven't heard anybody. Oh, actually, you know what? Over there, along the fence, is where the Union is lined up. So we'll take a shot at him and we'll kind of mark this post here, or mark this tree, as it's our location for the next little bit. So, since uh, the server had to restart, we're kind of. Uh, starting this match off a little bit later in, but you can see both sides are battle ready at this point. So even though time is, whoa, is that Union over there? Definitely is. Okay, I think I might have got one of them with that shot. There's two of them up there at the trees. So right now we are scrambling to get into a position to try and stop this attack here on our right flank. At the same time, we've got over on the left, uh, some Union coming up there as well. It looks like a lot of them have kind of been whittled down, and they're far away from their reinforcement point. So the forces that we take out here are, are going to be the only ones that are going to come up on us here from this side. Unless they mass up, of course, and try for another attack. All right, they're going to try and duke it out here, but I am trying to be aware here that... They've hit us, or they're trying to hit us on two sides. I want to make sure it's not three, like I'm covering the center. All right, looks like they've been taken care of. Nice job, boys. All right, we're going to get back to basically the same location that it was at before. Well, those guys over there on the left, that could have been a, a good opportunity here for uh, a pincer movement. And they kind of hit us on both sides. I wonder how many times like I think I get somebody and I really don't without getting that notification that you've hit or killed somebody. It's always a guessing game. Unless, of course, they're like right up in your face. But I'm going to get to a new position. I'm just kind of stay back here with these guys and get this reload in from a covered position. It does take longer when, uh, to reload when you are on the ground, but I, I don't want to risk it. And honestly, that would be one heck of a shot if those guys over there on the left... Watch out left Where side, watch out north, er, north, north, north. Yeah, okay. I honestly wonder if they could even see me here with the wheel here kind of breaking up my silhouette. Now they can hold there for a while. It is close to their reinforcement point. And honestly, uh, in some of the battles on this map that I have taken part in in the past, what we've seen is that the Union doesn't really have to charge the point. They can just wear down uh, the Confederate forces just through the kills and kill them that way. That's one of the reasons why we're, we're being very careful here with being in cover ourselves. We don't want to rush them right now either. In fact, that actually might be out of bounds for us too. I don't know. Right, let's get another shot off on them. Trying to find some guys who are like, ooh, that guy went down. I was going to try and look for some guys that are off on their own. 
Yeah, I don't think I hit anybody that time. You definitely want to get the stragglers. It counts a lot more here to their morale reduction than if they're all clumped together. Of course, you have a better chance of hitting somebody if they're all clumped together too. So you got to weigh out which is the better way to go. All right, so the Union forces are listed as engaged, which means we are winning this round here so far. It'll just seem to determine how much of a difference we're looking at here when it comes to the time between us getting to, to battle ready. Yeah, I missed him on time too. But at the very least, what we can do is keep them suppressed. That is definitely a strategy for us to use right here uh, because if they don't take the point or whittle us down, then we can win this one pretty easily. So if we can hold them right there, just kind of watch our own losses. We're good. So a miss is not necessarily a bad thing if it forces them to kind of keep their heads there a little bit. Yeah, there's a couple guys who are standing up. Just kind of dropped down too. You gotta try and hit these guys quickly, which is tough because if you hold your aim for quite a while, then it starts to droop down lower, and you have to like work to keep your your aim up. I missed that guy. So you have to act pretty quick. Somebody jumps up, you gotta aim at them, try and get a, a decent shot, and then hope that they stay up long enough before you can get the shot off. All right, we're both engaged. 25 and a half minutes left to go here in this match. Let's see if we can get another good shot. I mean, they also have you know, the fence in front of them. And they also have the posts that are sticking up out of the ground too to kind of help support it. That makes it difficult, of course, to hit them. Now, I haven't checked the center here for a little bit. I have been focusing on the guys up there to the north. Seems like that there is a lot of smoke off to the right over by the stone wall where the Union likes to kind of uh, sit out at. So I don't know if we're taking some fire over from that direction or not. That's kind of why I moved to right here. Even though I'm kind of a little bit more exposed to the extreme left. I think this is a good spot here because this wheel does completely cover me from those on the left on that fence that we've been shooting at. It also protects me from the guys who are on the stone wall. I'm going to move positions here after we've been told to kind of get back to the stone wall. Well, the stone wall over here is a, a pretty good defensive point for the Confederacy. Again, I do not know if that is Union or Friendly up there at the rocks. I think that was Friendly. But I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. In fact, I don't know. Maybe it. looking at where my guys are aiming. I mean, they're kind of aiming over there, so. They said extreme left. We're going to get the bayonet on here just in case. Because if these guys try and charge us right here, we'll kind of be set up. Oh, yeah, that is Union. Okay, whew. All right. I took a chance there. Alright, so they have been able to move up, and yes, they are moving more off to the left. So let it let's get into the stone wall here. Kind of see you one of the strongest defensive positions uh, that the south has that's pretty much right by the point here. So kind of hop over the wall. You can see everybody's sitting here under some type of cover. Now I wonder. Okay, yep, he kind of confirmed what I was saying. You can go into this. So I'm wondering if we have anybody from the Union on the other side who's kind of come in here. Now, there's some type of shadow that I see in there. I can't open this door. I'm going to have to go through through this one and see if there is someone from the Union in here. That's a friendly. Okay, maybe not. I don't see anybody. Kind of go down here. They can't come this far, guys. They're out of oh, okay. Yep, they can't come down this way. There are certain boundaries that you have within the map that you can stay within that might be available for the other side to go into. Um, but that just kind of helps you not be completely uh, 
like surrounded or something like that or, or allow people to take advantage of movement but, oh here they come oh and I'm in I've like been technically suppressed here is what this is called this is when you know you have uh, muzzle fire kind of going off around your bullets was past you okay these guys are all friendlies okay all right well, not bad stop that charge okay so we're gonna all right what's going on oh there's still some of them here okay that makes a lot of sense oh they're on the other side here let's let's take a shot here see if we can get somebody I'm taking a long time but ah dang it of course I'm gonna miss fire right there I right, get the reload in here quickly man they are right by me Take response to the orchard in the fucking case on All right. get a flank. I'm just flank about done the here. The Put the ramrod right away. Looks like they broke. Alright. Now we're back in the fight, but honestly, I bet they're gone. I bet they are gone. Oh no, they are still there. Okay. Let's get moving. We gotta clear out the orchard here. Guys like this here who are kind of scattered around. It's going to be important for us to take him out. We can't let him run. Oh, I like shot that guy in the leg. But that's going to be good enough here. Let's keep clearing the area. Okay, we got that guy up there. All these single stragglers. This is going to hurt them for their total morale. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, tag team right there. Okay, friendly. All right. Well, got a couple kills. I'll call that last one a half. We shared that one. All right. So things have gotten a lot quiet since we've cleared out these orchard. Or cleared out the orchard here. So they are probably reassembling. Or actually, don't. No, that's probably them right there. I was going to say with a lot of them getting killed here pretty quickly. They might be reassembling at spawn and moving in for an attack. Though with us having pushed them back here, this is where we'll probably see them kind of move to the stone wall. And you saw one muzzle flash. We'll probably see some more. Yep. Just kind of return fire in the blind. What's going to happen here, and I see this happen quite a bit on this map, is there's a lot of smoke that gets uh, it's basically all around those at the the stone wall just from their firing which makes it difficult for them of course to see us and for us to hit them so it's kind of just fire into the blind knowing full well that a lot of them are probably down in cover so what I tend to do at this point is if I see a, a muzzle flash I will aim for that hoping that that person who is at the wall Hasn't ducked back down yet. Alright, there's one shot. Oh, sorry, I just realized that kind of went to the wrong guy. Alright, we are retaking the point here. We just about have it completely here for us. You can see both sides are taking losses. A little over 18 minutes left to go. So not nearly as much movement on this particular map as you will see on other ones. But honestly, uh, this is kind of a, a nice map here. Sometimes, and I'll, I'm going to go ahead and remove the bayonet just kind of help out with, with my aim. I realized I had that on still, but uh, I don't think they're going to be charging anytime soon here. Uh, but no, like having maps like this where things are a little bit more static are a nice change of pace every once in a while. Like, not only is it... Is it good to be staying in one spot, but it's also a, I think it makes you appreciate the ones you kind of move around more. But I mean, we have moved around a little bit here, and there's still a lot of chance that we're going to have uh, some big movements taking place right here. We're going to have to move from one area to another. Who knows, maybe we'll see the Union kind of try to flank us on the right again. Let's just keep these shots up, though. All right, if I see anything that resembles a silhouette or that muzzle flash, I'll, I'll fire. 
Because I am worried about just standing out in the open. Because uh, maybe there'll be a break in the smoke or something and somebody will be able to see me. Alright, you can see we've had some casualties right here. And a lot of guys that are kind of around here. We've taken some fire in this direction too. Okay, not seeing any muzzle flashes, but... Oh, dang it, of course now once I pull back from the aim here. There's a lot of people who like to stick around that particular tree, so that's why I'm kind of firing right by it. Oh, already coming in. Or cannons, I guess I should say. Man, I've been playing a lot of Arma. It's the already. <laughs> well, I guess Warsaw, too, because that was like an hour and a half episode. Okay. Maybe I should change positions here, but... I'm just being told to just try and find some cover, so this is working right here. If anybody moves off to the right, that'll be the position where I'm the most exposed to, but I feel like we'll be able to spot them before they can start shooting at us. Now, I'm gonna have to start worrying about ammo because I have not died yet this particular round. I mean, I'm still trying to spit out here the ammunition as quickly as I can. I try to hit any Union soldier that I see, but to be honest, it's going to come to a point here where I've run out of ammunition. The only thing I can do for that is uh, charge right at the enemy. Or at least fall back to a position here and charge him when it's most appropriate. Gosh, there's a lot of people that are over here now. I feel like this, this is taking a lot more rounds, and that is probably because this cart does have a lot of people around it. If the Union is able to see the, the amount of muzzle flashes that are coming from here, this probably does make it a pretty tempting target for me. Alright, we just hit the 15 minute mark. Um, thought I saw movement right there. But again, same thing as before. If we keep them suppressed, even that's good. Now, nobody off to the right. Like, I'm watching here as I reload to see if there is anybody who's kind of moved down the stone wall. Kind of closer to where I can see him. I haven't seen anybody at all. So I'm wondering if we have more people off in this direction here to the left over by the fence. Or... Are they just all kind of closer to that tree? We might... Oh. Mad props. Actually, it does not say anything about how I went down. Like, there's no morale reduction or anything. So, was there no morale loss? Was that like a glitch and I was killed or something? All right. Well, let's get back in the fight here, guys. Okay. We'll try and get back there as quickly as we can. Fortunately for us, uh, that position that I was at is not that far away. So, we've had some other guys who have gone down here too, as you can see. Get the reload in here before I start moving up. I don't think I'm going to go ahead and fix my bayonet. Again, I'm not worried about them necessarily pushing up at us at this point. If they do, I should have ample time to be able to get my bayonet on. Alright, we'll get up and over. See, we're basically back at the orchard already. So this is one advantage that we have. Oh, we're at breaking? We are breaking? That actually makes some sense here, considering we've all been spaced around a lot of these wagons. And that means we're probably dying at the level here where uh, it's the skirmish penalty, so a 40% loss. Or a 40% reduction in, in morale loss, as opposed to if we were all together in a line, then it's an 80% uh, reduction. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and put on this bayonet here. We're all going to line up. We're going to make them come for us. We're going to be all at... In a defensive line here. Got my bayonets on. It sounds like I'm with 6LA here. 
Nice. All right, I'm going to take position here on the far right ish. Okay, we're going to get down on a knee. That way, they're not able to just take pot shots at us. They're going to have to get up close to us. And at that point, we should be the ones kind of at the advantage here. We'll get one, one volley off, and then we can counter charge here if that's what ends up happening. Okay. So with very few shots being fired at the Union forces, they have to know that we have pulled back. If they want to, to come away with the win, they're going to have to come to us. Okay. So we're like all on edge here, just waiting for this Union attack to take place. We have uh, scouts kind of scattered around here, just providing some intelligence and uh, performing some recon of the area. So we should have some good warning of those who are coming up. Now there was not a Union officer kind of moving up there. He was probably scouting the area. Um, I think that's go. one of ours by the tree. Very dark silhouette. All right, guys. Right wheel, right wheel, right right wheel. Right 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 okay, they're coming from the east here is what we're being told. So we're going to move in that direction and counter them. Hopefully, we can hit them before they even get set up. Oh, oh there they are. Okay, we are in cover now. Using this card again. And aim. Oh, nice volley. We had to have taken down that group right there. Let's get this reload in. Again, in cover because of the fact that we are breaking. And they are at taking losses here. I can't wait to pop up here because it's gotten quiet. Did we really decimate them? Okay, we're switching to independent fire here, so we're not all going to be firing at the, the same time here. Oh. Ooh, that one was close. Okay, what do we got? Oh, they are scattered around here, so now they're going to be suffering the same problem that we were here a little bit earlier. This will actually allow us to potentially come back up front. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, they charge us? Okay. Let's keep moving. Make sure that we've cleared this area. Oh, yeah. We've got this cleared. Okay. We don't want to move too far out here. Since that works so well, let's get back. Look at it. They are both, or we are both breaking now. So that was a devastating blow right there to the Union. Again, they're going to have to try and get to us but they'll know kind of where we're at where we're hunkered down at it might I try a, a movement like that again actually it might be more of a direct assault that's probably the best way these guys are gonna no a direct assault probably wouldn't be good either because the way that we got our scouts set up um, it, letting us know what direction that they're coming from we'll be able to move pretty quickly the left is actually probably the smartest way to to come at us because if they can deny us the stone wall over there and actually use that to take us down that'll be a big deal uh, well, even then see there's like no easy tack or like no uh right answer here to the problem that the union faces on how they go about attacking us because we're able to see which way that they're coming from and we can of course get over there pretty quickly all right it's just a waiting game right here a super tense waiting game oh the fence Oh, they are moving left this time. Okay. And we've got our guys, it looks like, in the stone wall, so I don't want to fire risking hitting anybody. We're going to get up and over here. We're going to get to the stone wall. Seven minutes and 22 seconds left. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Pushed him out of the way here, but... 
get back to the stone wall. Okay, we'll get this reload in here. Wonder if they're gonna try to to push into this position. Now, if they do try and come up here, they have to get up over the fence, and that's a time where they're absolutely vulnerable. Okay, let's just stay over here. Actually, let's find a good spot here where we can engage Union forces. I'll kind of cover the right here. In case anybody tries to come up this way, I'll kind of be the, the eyes of what's going on over here. Oh, we're moving out of here. Okay, we're getting back here to where we were before. This is the moment of truth, guys. We're, we're coming down to the last few minutes. We've been at breaking for some time. Yankees are to our front, to the cannon. Right to the front here at the cannons is what they're saying. One back, one. Okay. I can't see them through the smoke here, but there are bullets whizzing past my head. This actually has been quite a bit of movement here for, for this map in particular. All right, just waiting for him. Rise up. Right face. Okay, we're changing positions here. All right, we got to move fast here. I'm not quite concerned about staying in line. Oh, someone just got domed. Okay. All right, we're going to move down. Oh, there they are. This is going to be a great shot, guys. Be a great shot. Oh, mm. I didn't get my shot off. That is actually going to be it here um, because what happens with this one is uh, it ends right as I come back, which just happened like, I want to say three out of the last five episodes or something like that. So we end up losing this one. It was a pretty close one, as you can see. Like, it came down to the wire, which is great. This was a, a fun, fun match. This is probably, or a fun match. This is probably the best match I think I've had on this map. So it was definitely a, a good one here. But thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Make sure you subscribe for more content, because I'm going to be playing War of Rights and a bunch of other things, too, that have a very historical, serious uh, theme in military. And then also, guys, if you want to join our Discord, we've got a lot of great conversations in there. We'd love to have you be a part of it. And, of course, if you can, donate to the community and to this channel through the Patreon. Please do so. It does a lot to be able to help us all out collectively. You guys know I'm greatly appreciative of your guys' support that way as well. But thanks for watching, you guys. War is hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.